it's now time for Energy Insights, where you get an inside view and local perspectives of all the oil and gas progress going on in the Mid-Ohio Valley. This program is being brought to you by the Southeastern Ohio Oil and Gas Association, and can be heard every Saturday at 9 a.m. on local radio WMOA AM 1490, and ESPN Radio WJAW FM 100.9 and AM 630. It's now time for the show. Here's Johnny Wharf, your local host. Johnny Wharf in another edition of Energy Insights brought to you by the Southeastern Ohio Oil and Gas Association and a pleasure to have uh, Don Hawk on the show today from Artex Oil Company and, and I just kind of want to wing it based on uh, my thoughts as, I, as sometimes I think about driving down the road what, what would be a good topic for our listeners in terms of wondering what's going on in, in the field and I, and I ask uh, you know as we roll towards you know or into spring uh, the seasonality of, of the business. And if we see, uh, I don't know, I always like to say more white trucks rolling around in, in March than we do in February. You know, so what happens, you know, season to season in terms of, you know, if the ground's frozen or thawing or does it matter or you just keep rolling? Well, yeah, it, it does matter. I mean, generally, if you've got to deal with, with uh, freeze and thaw and, and wet conditions and that sort of thing it just drives the cost of doing business up so a lot of companies in this area or whatever will will do seasonal type of work trying to find times when it's warmer drier that sort of thing because uh, they are just d- conducting business on a day-to-day basis is a little more expensive whenever you've got a lot of freeze and thaw and so if we're talking about boots on the ground we're going to have a lot more in the, the, the climates when it's nicer would that make sense as far as out in the field yeah, for the Appalachian Basin, a lot of times, typically, uh, the activity will pick up in the drier, warmer months and that sort of thing. You also spend a lot of time in the, in the winter with it being colder, and, and that sort of thing is making sure the gas keeps flowing uh, because things want to freeze and thaw and freeze and thaw, and that can become an operational issue. So you, you spend a lot of time just keeping your facilities running to, that you don't have those same issues in the, in the warmer temperatures. Okay, so then as it pertains to operations uh, and uh, cost of, of doing business that then obviously gets translated to to the consumer. Um, would you would you say that in in the winter months um, the prices are affected because of the ground being hard or, or anything like that? Uh, not from a, not for what we get paid for the natural gas and oil. That that, that is not impacted um, unless it's really really cold spells and things like that. And there's areas that all of a sudden we don't have uh, infrastructure for natural gas to be in certain places. Prices could be short, you know, impacted on the short term. Where it's impacted mostly is operating costs, and that's bore solely by the operator. So the the cost of doing business goes up, but the uh, revenue stream from the the oil and gas may stay the same. So it, it can be a problem in the winter time. So, and I find it interesting that, that how different things, you know, you, the buzzword, of course, is government shutdown and how it affects this and this and this. And then you think about in this area, high water and cold and snow and, and you know, you know how it affects you, obviously, or the business of radio because we have to report it. Um, but how would high water, let's just take the high water, um, affect the industry and in in, particularly in this area for oil and gas? Uh, the, the biggest thing would be access. You know, you might have a road that, that sits in a low area and when water backs up and that sort of thing, floodwaters can get in the way to where you can't access a facility. It sits on the ridge, but you have to pass through a, a, a low area to get to it. Uh, that's that's the biggest issue. It would just be getting to that. Um, as far as facilities and things, we're required to have our facilities up and out of the floodplain when it comes to well sites and things like that. Um, that's happened over the years with the regulatory structure, but uh, not all of them are that way. But uh, most of them are. But it's maybe even getting to them will be difficult. And then on a personal note, as we go from winter to spring, you know, I always think of uh, baseball season kind of gets me re-energized. Is there anything about rolling into a new season that energizes Don Huck? Well, I think the biggest part is we all put budgets together, and when we look forward to that part of the year when we can put the, those budget dollars out there, not just day-to-day operations, but if we have plans to do additional drilling, work over on wells and things like that, we see that upcoming. So, yeah, that's exciting because we, we do see the fact that we'll get a chance to go out there, hopefully improve our volumes to where it improves our revenue. As always, thanks for your time. We appreciate it. Mm-hmm. All right, Don Huck, Artex Oil Company, here on Energy Insights. Until next week, have a great day. Thank you for listening to Energy Insights brought to you by the Southeastern Ohio Oil and Gas Association. 
Tune in every Saturday at 9 a.m. on WMO and ESPN Radio WJW as Johnny Wharf brings you your local and inside perspectives of the oil and gas progress going on in the Mid-Ohio Valley. 